Hi guys, it's the Power of the Eye Guy here and today I will be covering the DA100 Microsoft exam. So if you're looking to do the DA100 exam and you're looking for some guidance, tips and tricks, where to find study material, you found the right video. Now before I get started, I'm wearing a hat because right now London is in lockdown and I cannot actually get a haircut. So I thought let me just wear a hat instead of seeing my hairy mess. So you want to do the DA100 exam, which is the Data Analyst Associate uh, Certification, which stems from the analyzing and visualizing data with a Power BI exam. Now, previously, this was an MCSA, I believe, in BI reporting. We had the analyzing and visualizing data with uh, Power BI and Excel in order to get the MCSA BI reporting. However, that is being retired, and now it's January 21. That means after the end of this month, you can no longer do those exams. So if you're looking for some Power BI certification, um, you're better off not prepping now for the MCSAs. You can just go ahead with the DA100. So I recently passed the DA100 exam, so I'm going to be giving you some guidance on how you can actually um, achieve it and what are some study materials and tips and tricks that I have for the exam itself. So the first thing I'm going to go over, and I'll link it in the description below, is that Microsoft have outlined a module guideline to what the exam is going to cover. Now I believe off the top of my head it was five modules, um, I'll bring this up on the screen now, and Microsoft will be measuring you against these five different areas of the exam, and it has the breakdown of how much each section is worth. So if you're looking for study material beyond the 10 hour Microsoft reading, which is quite jarring at times, um, there's a really good resource that I use in preparation for this exam, which was created by BI Elite. Um, they have a uh, DA100 exam guide, which has all the topics and all the breakdowns with videos for each topic. It's called, it's called the BA, uh, BA um, it's called the DA100 um, a guide by BI Elite on their website. I'll link them down below. Uh, they do charge a monthly fee. However, there is a seven day free trial. So if you're looking for good training material, that's not the official marks of documentation. Um, as we know, it can be quite jarring reading through all that. And it has a lot of extra information that you might not necessarily need. We have the BI Elite DA100 guide. Now this is a paid a service. They have a monthly subscription. However, there is a seven day free trial and you could cover the content in seven days in three, four days if you wanted to. Uh, however, um, I say it's best consumed in a week but if you are on a budget you can use a seven day trial if it was useful for you and it helps you a lot i recommend you support by actually paying once uh, you've done the exam let's say and you pass or just if you find good content you should support the creator because um it's good content and it's hard to find so those are the two areas i recommend you go for for uh, content learning content it would be the bi elite course and uh, um, the Microsoft uh, Pathway documentation. Personally, I can vouch for those two. The BI Elite course was fantastic, and uh, the Microsoft Guide, the Learning Pathway, that can have all the information that you would ever need about the exam there. And if you cover that, take notes, you should have a good understanding of all the different uh, categories. So if you're looking for some exam prep and questions, there's a great tool in uh, Udemy, this course, it was called the DA100 Practice Questions. These aren't dumps, these were created by the author of that series. It's 120 questions broken down into five categories, 20 questions, 24 questions in each category roughly. Um, that was a great tool. It was quite hard and it was quite disheartening. However, if you can do well in those tests, I, I definitely think you're ready for the exam because those questions were a lot harder than what the exam was um, presenting me. Having actually sat the exam, I have some tips for you guys based on what I experienced and what I learned throughout the exam. So the first thing that I noticed is that it was split up into five sections. The first section being a Microsoft survey. Don't worry about that. It's not marked, so um, you can move on. I was then presented with section one, which was 40 questions. Now, you can flag and review these questions. However, if you click end section, you cannot come back to it. Being 40 questions, that is a big chunk of your test. So make sure you go back, review those questions before you move on to section three, which is your case study. Now, your case study is a scenario, and they gave you questions based on that, and there's only five to seven questions there, and then you get another five yes or no type questions, then another case study. What was interesting for me was that once you close the section, you can't go back to the previous one. So the 40 questions, let's say you do that in 45 minutes to an hour, you still have an hour left for 20, 20 questions. So make sure you don't just click end section once you've done your 40. Stay there for about 15 minutes going back and review them because you won't be able to once you click end section and move on to the case studies. And these, now I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. Uh, it's the Power BI guy and I'm signing out.